Hello everyone, and welcome back to Monsters of the Past. As always, I'm your host, Mr. G, and today I've gone back to the Morrison Formation to talk about today's subject. It's the different lizard itself, Allosaurus. Allosaurus means different lizard in reference to how when it was first discovered, its spine was unlike that of any other dinosaur known at the time. Allosaurus was a member of the Allosaurid family, and it was a carnivore that lived during the late Jurassic, and its bones have been found in both North America and Europe. Allosaurus was discovered in 1877 by famous paleontologist Othniel Charles Marsh during the famous Bone Wars of the 1800s. Allosaurus was about 28 feet long, making it about three-fourths the size of a T-Rex. Allosaurus had double hinged jaws, which means that much like a snake, Allosaurus could open its mouth incredibly wide. It is believed that Allosaurus used its wide jaws like a hatchet, where it would open and close its jaws around prey, causing fatal amounts of blood loss and shock. Allosaurus also had crests on its head, which are most likely ornamental. There have also been Allosaurus fossils discovered in groups, which some scientists think means that they may have hunted in packs, like wolves. One interesting discovery of an Allosaurus fossil is one time an Allosaurus was discovered with a Stegosaurus spike lodged in its thigh bone. And humorously enough, the spike was located where its crotch would have been, meaning that we actually have a fossilized record of one of the first crotch shots in all of history. <laughs> so, uh, good on you, Allosaurus, and I am, uh, so sorry. Alright, now it's time to look at the card. You know, this coloration kind of reminds me of dinosaur toys I had when I was younger. Mostly it's due to the fact that it's green with brown stripes. And that's a pretty common color for dinosaur toys. First mistake is that this card repeatedly claims that Allosaurus is an ancestor of T-Rex. First of all, this card claims that Allosaurus was an ancestor of T-Rex even though the two species were completely unrelated. This card also claims that Allosaurus has been discovered in Africa and Australia, even though since then both of those species of Allosaurus have been reassigned to other genuses. So, overall, I give this card a 7 out of 10. And now it's time for Allosaurus' appearances in pop culture. In the Jurassic Park franchise, Allosaurus made its film debut in Fallen Kingdom, where a group of Allosaurus was seen running from the explosion and later one is sold at an auction. Before that, Allosaurus appeared in video games such as the mobile game Park Builder and Jurassic World the game. It appeared in the PC game Jurassic Park Operation Genesis, although one thing to note here is that its bones are found in Africa, which as I said earlier, the African version of Allosaurus has been declared to have been to belong to a different group. Allosaurus also appears in the Game Boy Advance game, Jurassic Park 3 Park Builder, where for some reason it's portrayed as living in a desert. And Allosaurus is an adoptable animal in Jurassic World Evolution. It was added to the game after a free update which added in all the dinosaurs introduced in Fallen Kingdom. An Allosaurus named Guanji is the main antagonist of the Ray Harryhausen film, The Valley of Guanji. An Allosaurus appears in Land Before Time 6, where for some reason it only has two fingers. An Allosaurus makes a cameo in Ice Age, where it's seen frozen in a wall of ice. Allosaurus appeared in both the main show, Walking with Dinosaurs, and it got its own special called The Ballad of Big Al, which talked about the life of one Allosaurus from birth till death. And finally, Allosaurus appears as a tameable animal in the video game Ark Survival Evolved. That's all for this episode of Monsters of the Past. Join me next time when I talk about the saber-toothed kitty.